into deluxe mob interviews brought to you by mob magazine tv today i have the pleasure of interviewing a deluxe artist by the name of rod hardy and i'm super excited to jump in and let mob audience and the world get to know him a little bit better i hope y'all are ready and alert because we're about to dive in so how are you king doing well how are you i appreciate it I'm I'm fantastic. I'm just glad to have you on the show. <laughs> always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Energy always good over there. So I'm always I try. I'll be here with you. <laughs> I definitely try. So for the audience who might not know or hasn't seen your last uh, interview that you did with me or uh, feature that you had with me, what? Can you can you tell us a little about a little bit about yourself? Where are you from, and like how'd you get into music? Yeah, I'm. Uh, so I record. I'm based out of Los Angeles, California. Uh, love it out here, West Coast. But I'm originally from the Midwest. Grew up in Indianapolis, Indiana. So I've been out here about six years now, recording, working, grinding. You know, wow. uh, just kind of you know chose to get away and see a new location and kind of push the music, you know, in a new space. Obviously, Los Angeles, a huge market for different things. So that's how I ended up out here. And uh, with the music, man, I, I, one of the things I always say, man, is, you know, it's not what's on me, it's what's in me, man. When it comes to music, it's just in me. Like, you know, I've always, I can always say I've done it from, you know, growing up as a kid, I can remember, you know, every Saturday morning, my mom had music blasting. You that's know. right. Cleaning, walk cleaning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cleaning, cooking. We knew it was gonna be a good day. Right. Music's always been in me, and just you know, uh, just once I got a, into a position where I was like, I create my own. You know, I like to incorporate every sound I ever heard. You know, old music. You know, that I grew up to and stuff. Right. And you gonna hear a little bit of all of that in my music. You know, that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be influenced and then create your own space within it yeah. all. You know, do you also? Uh, produce at all or anything like that? I don't. My brother's a producer. Um, You're lucky he's your brother, man. You yeah, got to sure. <laughs> I uh, so me and him got a project that'll be coming out probably next year. Okay. You know, kind of slow pacing through through, you know, getting the right stuff together. And right. you know, kind of a part of my story too. You know, that people are here is, you know, my brother was in a coma for 21 days and. Wow during that time i really just jumped on the music i really dove into it when he woke up you know the few things he remembered from the coma was like you know life is short man whatever you're gonna do you gotta do it now so we had always been talking about the tape we were gonna do together we always talked about you know the music we were gonna throw out and when that happened it just was like no time to wait around let's go so i got a lot of music that i'll be rolling out that i worked with a lot of other producers on and stuff but I'm excited about that project that me and him are working on together to come out next year. That's beautiful. I can't wait to hear that. I'm, I'm going to anticipate that. <laughs> so I was that leads to my next question. I mean, you kind of already answered it as far as what you have upcoming for the next year. You have that album with your brother. Is there anything outside of music that you're going to try to tap into? Or is it just like you're going hard for the music right now? So, um, you know, really honestly, man, I, I've been in a little bit of everything, you know. Um, right. I act, I do, uh, you know, uh, personality, just any kind yeah. of thing, you know, where I, like I said, I just always like people, it's just what's in me. You know, I like to entertain, I like to be around people, I like to create, you know, that artistic thing. But one of the big things I noticed was, uh, you know, kind of saturating yourself, being in too many places at one time right. and doing too much, you know, you kind of, um, lose your ability to do something great That's you know right. so for me right now the music is everything you know I got the album coming out with him there's an EP rolling out this year I got two EPs actually I'll release this year a couple other singles and a, a couple things I want to do over the summer so 
uh, you know, this next 12 months is dedicated to music. You know, right. music. I know a lot of things will come from that. Definitely. And, uh, you know, and I'll get into other things as they come. But I'm a firm believer, man. When you believe in something and when you push in something and you're growing it, you got to stay in that lane. You got to push that. You know, I think a lot of people now are getting extremely saturated with so much stuff because you see so much. You feel like There's you got a lot stuff. going on. Yeah. And, uh, and that's what I'm trying to prevent, man. I'm just trying to, you know, keep, keep my head focus. down, keep the course and do my thing, you know? Facts. And see the results. See the results yeah. from all the focus. Exactly. So what would be your footprint? Like, what would you want to leave on the on the music industry or just like in life in general? Like, what's, what's that, the message you want to have for everybody to remember you by? That's you. So I think my message is where I start everything, you know, from. And that message that I just want to leave on the world. When I go, I want people to say, he did it. Whatever he, you know, he chose right. to do, he did it. And that's the big thing. That's one of my big things I, I put out to people. I'm like, just do it, man. Like it's a lot of people talking and saying, All the time. I do this, I want to do, just do it. You know, like, even if it's terrible. Right, try first, it. Yeah, like when I first released, you know, my first piece of music, I had no clue what the reception would be like. I loved it. I thought it was a great piece, but you know, as artists, we want people to enjoy it and hear it the same way we hear it. And they don't always. They don't always, but it's cool, you know. I look at, I get on my YouTube, you know, and I have tons of views, likes, but it's the dislikes I look at. And like, it's not that I'm offended by it. I really want to know what didn't you like? How can I create and uh, and be better? But at the end of the day, I'm still going to keep pushing. Right. Still doing it. And that's the message I want to send to people because, um, you know, I, I worked in corporate America for years. I was, um, you know, I went to school, got my master's degree, you right. know, did all the things I thought I was supposed to do that I was <laughs> going to enjoy. But, you know, I didn't enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like I had to find what I did enjoy. And, you know, I knew what it was. It was just more of me saying, do it, you know? And that's what I think people need to do. Like, just try it. You know, it's going to be what it's going to be, but just do it. Yeah, the, wor the, the worst thing that could happen is people not doing it and wondering. That's the, I, I would hate to live with that regret. I, I feel like I live off the same thing. You just got to do it. You got to go for it. And the worst thing that could happen is it not work. And then either try again or you find something else to dive into, you know? <laughs> Mom always told me, man, no is just another word in the dictionary. It just is what it is. Exactly. Why I'm so offended by a no, you know? Exactly. I couldn't agree more. So like for other upcoming artists, like what, what kind of advice would you give in given any of the circumstances you have faced, you know, even having like, your brother going through what he went through, like how did you cope with that? And what would you recommend for artists to do in that type of situation and or just in a regular situation? What would you recommend for artists to stay consistent? Yeah, I would say, um, you know, continue on. Like it's not, it, it, it's not easy. Right. It's not, um, it's not straightforward. You know, you think, like I said, you, you connect with a producer, you make a track, you go in there where you record it, you right. know, you smart and you pushing it the right way. You mix, you master it. Right. You got your plan all put together, you know, ready to go, uh, which is a big thing. I hear a lot of people just put music out. I'm like, I want yes. my ready. <laughs> I, yes, I, I, I'm so glad you said that because people really need to take that into consideration. Yeah. So many people don't do the mixing and mastering. If that's the final touch, like it, it's not complete. <laughs> like, what Most are you doing? Teams. Oh yeah. Steps. That's the big message to them. Don't skip the steps. And at the end of the day, uh, like I said, do it, but you got to learn from it because the biggest thing I learned is, you know, even you can go out and hire marketing teams. They all can be, you know, BS. They all can right. tell you they're going to do this and do that. It and don't that. pan out or you don't really truly get the results that let you know, like, what's next. You know, I don't feel like no artist's path is the same. Right. Nobody has it figured out until they figure out what works. Right, for, for them. them. You got to keep going, man. You got to keep going. It's going to be failures along the way, but just keep going. Right, right. So what would be what would be a game changer for you? Like, are you, I, are you looking to be signed or 
Do you just want to you want to partner with somebody? I know we did an interview uh, <laughs> recently as well that you answered this question, but I would like for people to hear it, you know, coming from your mouth and, and visually. Yeah. So for me, um, you know, I'm open to signing with the right opportunity. As I said, I've been in business uh, myself for a long time, uh, doing it myself, even outside of music. I've been in business a long time where it's all been around contracts and different things like that. So I'm, I'm smart enough to know uh, a good opportunity from a bad one. And I'm yes. patient enough to wait on that good opportunity. Yes. Uh, the thing I do know is, as I said, uh, goes back to saturating yourself and trying to do too much. Right mm -hmm. now as an independent artist, I am the marketing team. I yep. am the PR team, you know, I am the, uh, the label, you know. Exactly, uh, you're all hats. You have to wear all those hats. Yeah, and I truly do feel like I know it's the big craze right now. Stay independent, remain independent. I think every artist has what works for them. Right. For yeah. me, you know, I'd like to put together a solid team. I'm definitely open to hearing from labels. Um, I would love to connect with the right people. You know, perfect world for me. Uh, I can align next to Jay and the Rock Nation family yeah. because my respect for him is so huge on a business level. And that's who right. I am, you know, it's so much more than music. It's, it's about the people and bringing people along and everybody making money. So that's why I say, you know, that's a huge, you know, push for me is to be next to that team. Those type of people, Diddy, Jay. Yeah, making the moves. Ross is huge. Um, even Yo Gotti, man, he does a lot with those guys on his team, man, and keeping them moving forward and making money. So. So that's uh you know that's 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 my goal, you know along the way I do what I do if I figure it out myself by that time they come around and I already got the blueprint, you know it is what it is the price just went up you know <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> so with everything opening up again, uh, I don't know like were you heavy in the performing prior to uh, the pandemic and do you plan on diving back into that or you know if you weren't a performer more so back then are you gonna yeah, so so I want to get into uh, performances when everything opened back up. Uh, I mean, things are really opening back up. Uh, even here in Los Angeles, where I'm at, you know, they, I see it every day. I'm in the city, you know, I see everything starting to move, traffic starting to pick up again. Right. So, you know, On 405. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, it's that time. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, I, I'm. I'm, I'm I'm eager to get back on stage. I'm eager to get out there and do that. Um, at the same time, you know, uh, I got a newborn at home. So congratulations. Me, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yes. So for me, um, you know, safely stepping out there and, 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 and getting out there to the time, you know, the time of being on the road and stuff, you know, I'd like to see her, you know, she's about a month old. We'd like to see her get to, five or six months before I really jump back out there, um, you know, and take myself back over to the East Coast or something like that. So right now everything's West Coast, you know, Arizona, Nevada, California, you know, it's kind of trying to be a dad, man, something that's different. That's a whole nother hat you, <laughs> you gotta put on, yeah. But congratulations, I know that whenever she, you're, significant other went into uh labor it was the same night we did another interview <laughs> and i was like oh my gosh <laughs> it's, it's constantly work man like uh so I, I sat down with you uh we looked at we we played number one and kind of presented number one to the world i did that yeah. uh, following that call with you uh i hopped on to a um a podcast i did back home in indy where right. they call me and I called and did that. And as I'm doing that, I get the, I get a message. Like, I think I'm in favor. So I'm like, okay, you know, uh, let me finish this. I'm probably like 10 minutes away from, you know, where she was. So I wrapped up that interview, got home. Uh, we had home birth, you know, right in our uh, oh, living room. Oh, beautiful, wow. Yeah. Woo. So uh, once we, once I got there, you know, it was game time, man. You know, I didn't even get <laughs> tell how the, the interview and everything went. It was just kind of like, let's go, you know? Right, I mean, man, you, that's a that's a true definition of a hustler right there, getting all the work in and delivering a baby, helping deliver a baby. <laughs> that's the real way to do it. Goodness gracious. So how was that experience? I just have to ask before like I conclude anything, like, wow. 
man, I was, was witnessing that. It was amazing. So really, like, I had no, you know, experience in, you know, childbirth, labor, anything. You know, this is my first. Uh, but I got friends, you know, who got kids, and they kind of got their experience. They tell you what it's like. Right. You know, kind of everybody really kind of try to shake you up you know I'm right, not, there you. <laughs> yeah man that's just not me you know i'm not i always say my experience is my experience i listen to what people say but i don't ever take it to heart you know I'm right because it might turn out totally different and the thing is nobody had a birth at home nobody had a pool birth we had it in our pool you know we, we had the baby in our pool <laughs> so um so everybody's experience was what it was like in a hospital right so, we created our own environment. You know, we uh, we decorated how we wanted. We put the uh, mood lights up, candles, uh, the pool. Like I said, we warmed the pool. We had the pool there. We had our doula and midwife there. And, um, and just too, man, we really just set the mood, the vibe, how we wanted it. And it was honestly the most pleasant, calm, peaceful process. I mean, it was only the last minute and a half where it got chaotic when she was pushing, but that whole 12 hour labor, right? Laid around in the pool, you know, we took a nap on the couch, like just a lot of just peaceful stuff. So it was pretty cool. Wow, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful experience. It sounds like it was impactful, I'm sure. Like, yeah. having, like, I can't even imagine. I need to. I would have to witness <laughs> it sometimes. You're going to have to, uh, you know, by the time that album comes out next year, I'm going to talk, you're going to hear all about it. You know, just, it's, it's uh, you know, kids and, and childbirth and even processes like that. It's material. Yes. You know, everything that we let out, everything I'm talking about is just my life. And for exactly. me, that you know, was a life changing experience to, um, you know, go from, me being me to that very next second 12 hours later you know after sitting down with you 12 hours later now i'm in a mode of like yeah i'm doing me but i'm protecting this little girl with everything i got every single day you know at the you know it just it's like a switch that just flip exactly. right away. i'm glad <laughs> i'm glad because you know some people don't flip that switch you know they'll they'll sure. either be distant in that type of situation or you know refrain from taking on that that responsibility and it's just beautiful to hear you speak on it like that and take pride in and a bundle of joy and i'm so mm -hmm. happy for you and congratulations again to you and your family and i mm -hmm. i wish you nothing but prosperity and good vibes and blessings and i i mean that really concludes our 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 interview but for for the people watching they can expect you know a few projects you said you had like projects lined uh, records lined up for the rest of the year and then that ultimate project with your brother is there anything you want to just like give give the audience uh, a heads up on like any posts that you may have or where to follow you anything like that social media that they can contact you and get in touch if they want to keep track yeah, of so you. they can find all things about the music at ridehardymusic.com uh follow me on instagram ridehardy underscore always information popping up on there my twitter uh, you know, that's usually where it go first. It, 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 people will get a tweet, you know, and be like, what's he talking about? You right. know, and then you see uh, Twitter, same thing, Rod Hardy underscore. You'll see it on Twitter, it'll pop up on Instagram. And before you know it, you know, RodHardyMusic.com, it's all there. But this summer, we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways. Uh, I'm huge on giving back. Always have been. I love uh, the youth. I think that's huge. So this summer, we want to do some giveaways. Uh, whether it be cash giveaways, backpacks, just stay tuned on our page. It's always going to be something there for everybody. Uh, like I said, those two EPs that are coming out, um, you know, it's, it's a process. I know people have been on me like, man, we waiting on the project. We waiting on the project. The project got to be right. And I'm going to exactly. make sure the fans get what they, what they, you know, come to see. Exactly. So this summer, I promise y'all, two of them this summer, at least. Yes. You know, the feature with Lil Boosie. You know, it was a lot of footage that was floating around and me in the studio with Lil Boosie. So it's been a lot of questions over what's been going on, what you working on, what you got going. So me and Boosie connected two hot tracks we put together that will be coming out this summer too. So just stay tuned. Yes, I'll definitely stay tuned. And everybody watching, please 
His information will be in the description below. So make sure you uh, follow this young king, man. He's making moves, getting it done. And I absolutely uh, approve of this message. All right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> appreciate <laughs> you appreciate <guys. laughs> So thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. You know what it is. I'm your host, Natalie Nicole. And you know the motto, give love, be loved, and be loved of. Keep mastering overcoming boundaries.